But the thing about British audiences is they go along, they see the Rolling Stones one second, the Beatles the next. They've we're broken better. up. We're better. <laughs> yeah. Let there be light. That was light. Let there be drums. There was drums. Let there be guitar. There was guitar. Oh, let there be rock. Schmack of a gob, everybody. Hey. Another one of my favorite singers, and uh, I, I, I have to repeat this. The thing is that I've done top ten list of stuff, and I always forget something, and I'm like, I'm not doing that no more. So I'm not going to do a top ten favorite singer. I'm just going to do individual episodes on my favorite singers. And this time, it's Bon Scott. Bon Scott... Uh, let me pull it out. The first time I ever heard of Bon Scott... Now, by the way, I'm going to pull out an album, all right? Get your mind out of the gutter. Um, first time I ever heard of Bon Scott, my great friend, Eladio Fernandez, still my buddy, bought this album back in 1978, played it for me, and I was like, well, the, the band sounds good, but that singer sounds weird, man. It's like, a, it sounds like an alien. I didn't get it at first. I really was like, I don't know about this singer. And now, as you see in this episode, one of my favorite singers of all time. And uh, <clears throat> by the way, I'm going to pull out all my ACDC Bon Scott stuff and some non ACDC Bon Scott stuff. Um, so it's not going to be in order. But I will say um, <clears throat> this album here. Some of it was recorded in West Palm Beach at the West Palm Beach Auditorium, which I've been to many times. But obviously, I didn't know about HCDC at the time, since this is the first HCDC I heard. And another really crazy fact was the city of Miami Beach here in South Florida gave the key to the city to HCDC at that time. Ain't that wild? That's some wild stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> absolutely love this album. One of my favorite live albums of all time and uh <clears throat> this one here is rarities which is it came in this box set which i'll show you uh the backtrack box set was um an amplifier that amplifier actually works and uh i didn't grab it to show you because i got eddie from iron maiden and roddy piper riding on pokey on top of it and one thing I've learned a long time ago, you do not disturb Rowdy Roddy Piper or Pokey. Um, <clears throat> ACDC Jailbreak. Man, I gotta say, talking about Bond, um, to me he's the greatest, the greatest lyricist ever, man. I don't think anybody's written lyrics as good as Bond Scott. He was a genius. And uh, I've heard people refer to him as shithouse poet. I think that's very unfair. You do not add the word shit to Bond's lyrics, okay? The motherfucker was a poet. The greatest poet in rock and roll, period. And <clears throat> I will say this too, and it may cause controversy, but this is how I feel. And I may be alone on this, and I understand. I am a fan of the Rolling Stones. I do love the Rolling Stones. I, I like ACDC with Bon Scott more. So for me, they are the greatest rock and roll band of all time. You know, the Stones get labeled it, rightfully so, because they are, you know, it started before and they're awesome. The Stones were awesome. I just think they're awesomer. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the song, um, You Ain't Gotta Hold On Me. You can roll me around your fingers. You can roll me if I'm right. You can roll me tally ho ho. I'm the easy rolling kind. I think that's genius stuff. Now, for those that have been following me on this channel and checking out my ACDC stuff, <clears throat> notice I haven't pulled out this album. I'm saying I own Let There Be Rock and I can't find the vinyl anywhere. That's because I finally found it in the G section of my so, I don't know how that happened, but it ended up over there in the G's. So, and there's many more albums uh, that I can't find. 
that I gotta scour through all these albums to, to find some of these that I'm missing. But anyway, I overdosed on you. That, my God, you know, those lyrics. Uh, this is the one with Crap City and Blue. It doesn't have Problem Child. That's on the Dirty Deeds vinyl. And that one, it came in this right here. I can pull this out because uh, Roddy Piper and Pokey are not on top of this. This is a box that I bought, which is all the ACDC albums, vinyls with Bon Scott, which I bought back in 1990, I think. A long time ago, before vinyl was in vogue. I don't know if this came out in 1990. <clears throat> I took all the albums out of here and I put it in here, but there is one in here. <clears throat> and it's... um. This one, uh, my favorite ACDC album, because it has Cold Hearted Man on it. And what is the song? I think it's Up To My Teeth. Yeah, it's, yeah. Up To My Teeth isn't on here. Now, Cold Hearted Man is on that Rarities album I, I showed you, so I put this one back in the box. <clears throat> so this one came in that box and it's good to have my collection because I already have Problem Child on my Dirty Deeds album. So there you go. All right, here's a rare one. This is um, The Valentines. This is an album Bon Scott was on. There's Bon right there, center standing. Um, this is like a bubblegum band, but I love it. Um, you know, it's very bubblegum, but I love like the song Every Day I Have to Cry. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of songs here that he doesn't sing or he co-sings. Like, they do harmonies and shit. <clears throat> Very different than um, the ACDC stuff. And then, you know, he did a band called Fraternity, which was very different than this and the ACDC. Kind of like a hippie, hippie thing. See the And then there's this, uh, High Voltage. Um, not the original version, which I'll show you in a bit. I have, a, I have a box set of all the Australian stuff. But Rock and Roll Singer, uh, the best lyrics on this one, by far, it's a long way to the top. That really, really, I mean, you cannot put into words what it's like to be in a rock and roll band and trying to make a career out of it. More than that, Bond knew how to capture stuff, man. It's hard to believe that this guy was only, was it 32 years old when he died? What a, he lived a life like a, a, a hundred years. He was in two bands before it, almost died in a motorcycle accident. <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff about Bond Scott I read in this book right here called Highway to Hell. And then I have an audio book called The Last Highway. Um, you know all about Bond. Uh, reading that book and listening to that audio book because I, I, I really but I'm not gonna sit here and give you his life story this is an episode about my favorite singers and uh, this is a cool album man not the original one though <clears throat> all right then there's this one which is a weird album because the album cover looks like a new wave album it came out at the time when new wave was popular uh, but it's not the original cover. Now, I'm a little confused on this one. I'm not sure if this cover is the 1981 version or there was a, a cover like this before that. I'm not sure. All I know is uh, I'll show you soon what the original is. Here's another rare one. This is an uh, ACDC bootleg from uh, the Waldorf in San Francisco, September 3rd, 
1977. What's really cool about this one, it has Kicked in the Teeth Live. And uh, Up to My Neck and You. Uh, those are some pretty rare ass tracks, man. I have. And uh, let's keep going. The last album, of course, I'm not going in order. My second favorite ACDC album, uh, Highway to Hell. What a, all killer, no filler. Every song on here is a winner, man. My favorite would be my all time favorite Bon Scott song is uh, Touch Too Much. <clears throat> She had the face of an angel, a smile with sin, a body with Venus with arms, something like that. So awesome. And uh, I forgot to recite my favorite Bon Scott lyric ever off Dirty Deeds. Um, it's, uh, ain't no fun waiting around to be a millionaire. I got patches on my patches of my old blue jeans. Well, they used to be new when they used to be blue. That is just a jumble of it. And how it fuck. Get your fucking jumbo jet out of my airport. <clears throat> now there's the Australian version of TNT, which is half of high voltage. And again, long way to drop rock and roll singer, another one where lyrics are just genius. The Jack. I love see the, the studio version is different than the live version. I love them both, but the live version I like a little more because it's more sleazy, but I think the ju the, the studio version is more genius because, you know, the whole little, you know, how to play cards and stuff he throws in there. <clears throat> of course, TNT, Can I Sit Next to You Girl, Rockers on here, which wasn't on uh, that version, the American version, and School Days. Uh, Chuck Berry, I'm not a fan of that. To, uh, honestly, kind of, kind of understand why I didn't make the American cut. I'm not a fan of uh, school days, and of course, I already talked about my favorite. And again, going back to Dirty Deeds, the song "Ride On" and the song on here called "Kicked in the Teeth Again" are the greatest songs to hear, to listen to. Bond's lyrics to "When You're Breaking Up with a Girlfriend." Or, you know, I've never been married, but I'm figured divorce. I listen to those two songs and it's like, Bond preaching to me, telling me, it's gonna be all right, bro. Shit sucks now. You're hurt, it's horrible. But you know what? You'll get through it. And <clears throat> I take it, I, I also have a little philosophy on that. And this is going out to everybody out there that's hurting over a breakup. Think of the girl or the guy who broke your heart before the last one. What does he mean to you now or she mean to you now? That's what the recent one's going to mean to you now. And that's what I got out of Bon Scott, man. Bon Scott is like, you know, just plow on, man. Uh, that's it. But I'll sh I have some CDs here to show you. It's a box set of all the Australian albums. Uh, this is the Let There Be Rock one. Uh, with Crab City and Blue. Uh, here's the original Dirty Deeds album cover with Bon and Angus on the cover. And then uh, the rest of the band on the other side. <clears throat> this is a weird album. Well, it's, uh, I guess, the Australian version of Highway to Hell. They're all in a flame with a guitar uh, neck on it. And uh, here's the TNT that I showed you on vinyl. And here is the Power Age, and here is the original High Voltage. Right on, and I got a few bootlegs here on CD2, uh, official bootleg companies out there. Uh, I want to thank my friend Ron Dimer for this one. This is uh, Against the Current, uh, Columbus, Ohio 78, where this one has gone shooting on it, uh, which is rare as fuck. Rock and Roll Damnation, Dog Eat Dog, Problem Child, Livewire, Sin City, Bad Boy Boogie, The Jack, awesome stuff. And this one, I used to have a friend that had it on vinyl way back in the day, which was a very rare vinyl. It was uh, them live at the Atlantic Studio, which I think was a radio broadcast. I mean, it's an amazing live album. That's on this bootleg. 
which is, it just says New York 1977. But that was a, that's a really great life. And, oh shit, I forgot to pull out my um, bonfire. I'll do it now. And here it is. This is an excellent, excellent box set. Uh, and this one has the, that show I was just telling you about. The, um, at the Atlantic Studios. And yeah, I remember, this is what the vinyl looked like. Right there. That's exactly what the vinyl looked like. A friend of mine had it way back in like 79, 80. I remember him playing with it, playing it to me. And it was like a, it wasn't a bootleg, but I think there was very limited quality, uh, quantities of that. And this one, oh man, another thing I gotta check, I gotta fucking grab. Edit. The ACDC Let There Be Rock Blu-ray now, and it brings also the DVD. And uh, this is a really cool package. Now, what I heard a long, long time ago, because it was released on uh, VHS. I remember I had it on VHS. But forever, it was never re-released on DVD or anything. And the rumor I heard back then was the original print of that movie was burned in a fire. But they ended up releasing it on, on this Blu-ray. And uh, it sounds really great. And this, uh, this Blu-ray is pretty cool. It brings like extras. But what's, we what's really weird about the extras is that they don't play ACDC music. They play some other music while you have people like Lemmy and Scott Ian and other people talking about ACDC. That's the extras. Here's the Blu-ray. And then <clears throat> it brings this, uh, this thing that has pictures. Oh no, this is the one with the book. This has a book um, with pictures and a story about behind it. And then it has this uh, Let There Be Rock, kind of like a backstage pass thing. And I think this is the deluxe one. I, I'm not sure if this just came out separate and you had to get a deluxe one. And then this is really cool right here. This has a bunch of pictures of kind of like movie cards of um, Bond, Angus, a live shot, whoops, another live shot, killer picture of Bond, where they, at, where they say to him in there, they said, Bond, the, the, the band says you're special. And he says, oh, I'm a special drunk. And he goes, do you consider yourself a star? And Bond says, I see stars. Love the guy, man. Such a shame he passed away. Killer picture of Angus. Another live photo. These are all from the movie. And there you go. <clears throat> Anything else I want to show you? No. So this is an episode about why he's one of my favorite singers. And I think I covered some of it. But I just, you know, I should talk about the man's voice. He had such a great, great, unique voice. And I think it was really cool. Like, um, you know, like, like uh, what was the last episode I did? Joey Ramone. You know, it's not one of these um, technically great voices, even though John Bon had a really cool, powerful voice. Like, listen to screams like in Highway to Hell at the end. And, I mean, the guy was great, man. He was amazing. But he had this aura where his voice, to me, it just bled out charisma. There was so much charisma and attitude in that voice. Like, in Problem Child, something so small in that song where he goes, I'm a problem child. And then he goes, hey. Just that alone, it was like, attitude man trying to like i am a prop child hey you know fucking amazing i know i'm a music nerd and i'm damn proud of it man but anyway i'll go back to this this brings back in black as well because it is a a thing about um it is back in black's a tribute to bond and you know some say he wrote the lyrics i did a whole episode on that um and then it has all these other tracks like Dirty Eyes. That song rips. It's actually Whole Lot of Rosie before Whole Lot of Rosie. I love it. Now, Touch Too Much. It's a whole different song on here. I didn't like Too Much. I didn't like it. 
Uh, and back, Backseat Confidential ended up being Beating Around the Bush, which I like Beating Around the Bush much more. But it's that one's cool. And then it has Get It Hot, and then it has some live stuff, like School Days Live, and right on. And also, talking about, you know, when I was talking about that box set that Roddy Piper and Pokey are on, it has a cool DVD of them playing like a high school back in the day. And you even see Malcolm Young do a solo in one of the songs. Really great. But this is awesome. And I gotta say, when this was in the theater, I went to go see it on a Saturday. I'll never forget. And man, it sounded really good. It was really loud. And I went there at Saturday at noon. And I did not leave the theater till 6 p.m. because after the movie was done, I went and snuck in. I went in the bathroom and then snuck back in. And I sat there three times watching. This was before I owned a VCR, and I just soaked it in. I mean, where else am I going to see HDC with Bond on a big screen? So I really did get my money's worth, and plus more, uh, where I watched it three times on a Saturday afternoon. And it's funny, because my friend Ruben De La Rosa, who I didn't know back then, said he was there at one of the showings. He wasn't sick enough to stay there for three, for three showings. But... Um, and also that backtracks that box set has um, a lot of rare, you know, uh, songs and like "Stick Around." That's a cool song. "Stick Around" is pretty badass. And uh, what else am I gonna tell you? Oh, there's I still got more shit. Um, here's this one. This one's cool. This one was in uh, recorded in '79 in Townsend. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Because if somebody's uh, watching from Maryland, they're probably saying, it's not pronounced Trouncin, um, uh, in 79. And this one, you know, it's Highway to Hell Tour. And this one, this show, Bon Scott has a fight with, a, a, I guess, a security guard. And it's pretty cool how he's, like, cussing him out and shit. I guess he was, like, beating up on somebody. Bon wasn't having none of that shit. Now, my favorite of all my bootlegs is this one. B.S. We Love You, it's called. And this one has a uh, Highway to Hell tour. I don't think I have like the, the, I don't think this tells me exactly what shows they were recorded at. But the Highway to Hell tour is really, really cool. Oh uh, no, it just says, um, I have also, <clears throat> I stuck in here, cause these are these old school, these old school fucking big ass, Look at that. Big ass uh, double CDs where they made them in slim cases later. And I have some bootlegs in there as well. Separately. Um, 76, 79. BBC Session 76. Uh, the BBC Tapes. So I got these CDs and put them in here. Because it has little, little things to hold it in here as well. So, you know. Anyway. Uh, the... The Highway to Hell show is awesome, but the other disc, disc two, it's a show from 1976, which you're probably hearing in the background, if I remember. You know, I'll put some of the back. It sounds so good. It sounds amazing. Um, and that's pretty much it. One thing, another thing I forgot to say was on this box at the BS We Love You, the Atlantic. The Atlantic show on here is actually ripped from a vinyl because you hear very minor little cracks when it starts because it must be a must have been like a sealed copy that they opened up and they I guess they didn't take the time to clean it up but it sounds perfect as it is but you do hear a little crackle before the album starts and uh, great stuff and it also has that's why I ran out and bought and got the the box set because it has the full show and isn't there a bonus track um i'm pretty sure there's a song on here that wasn't in the movie or maybe i'm wrong uh, all right you all tell me if you all know this movie well enough i thought it was if you want blood but it's not uh live wire shot down in flames hell ain't a bad place to be sin city walk all over you bad boy boogie the jack Highway to Hell, Girls Got Rhythm, High Voltage, Whole Lot of Rosie, Rocker, TNT, and Let There Be Rock. I believe that is. But wait, didn't that show end with Rocker? I, now I don't, now I gotta watch that movie again. 
that movie. This movie is awesome. I'm so glad they filmed that before Bond died. Like a live show and interviews in between. Amazing. Anyway, long live the, the great Scott. He rules. And so do you for watching even this late in the video. I really do appreciate it. All you Bon Scott fans, let me know what you think in the comments below. I love hearing people talk about uh, Bon, unless you don't like Bon, because I don't want to hear your comments that is anti-Bon, okay? It'll sadden me. It'll put me in the fetal position. It'll make me cry for my mom to make me a Hot Pocket. So all you haters, shut the fuck up. Please, for my, for my poor widow Fiwi, and uh but i'd like to hear from the rest of you and if you like to subscribe please subscribe and click that little notification bell but when you do you do it like this see that little ball you go bang bang pizza skulls yeah or first you go bang bang pizza skulls do that it'll cure herpes and you know hey you don't want to catch herpes even though you only catch it once you don't want to catch herpes, okay? So do that so it'll cure herpes. So that way you can, you know, catch it and, and, and then just take a pill and it'll be gone. That's what happens when you subscribe to my channel. I'm telling you. And if you like to donate, I've got a PayPal in the description below. Bang, bang, pizza skulls. Stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. Worship Bon Scott and smack them. A god, all hail the great sky.